Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and today is the 1st of June so I can officially show you the inside of this gorgeous catalogue with all the new stamp sets and different bits and pieces and show you what is on my to buy list. So this is just a quick rushing through, if I've got it and it's to hand I'll show it you, if not I'll tell you what I've done with it and there'll be projects coming up anyway. But it is just a very quick through. You've got your contents page as usual. I should add here, if you want a copy of this and you are in the UK, just drop me a message. Either put it at the bottom of the video or send me an email, a Facebook, anything, and I will pop one in the post to you. So, first of all to mention is the new colours. We have these five new colours, which is Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover and Blueberry Bushel. I have done those on an unboxing video and showed the actual colours, the, the new ink pad styles that go up and in. So those are the new ink colours, but we also have some new and returning colours. So we have Grey Granite, that's a new one, Mossy Meadow, and Merry Mello that have joined the Neutrals collection. We have Poppy Parade, which is that one just there. Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, sorry, Mango Melody, oh, Melon Mambo. We've already got that one, I was looking here. Mango Melody, Guiana Apple Green, and Coastal Cabana and Gorgeous Grape that have joined this family. Okay. Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, my favourite, Soft Sea Foam, I love that colour, and Petal Pink. And then you've got Shaded Spruce and Blackberry Bliss that have been added in as well. Okay, so when I see them, I'll point them out to you on the page. So for the kits, we've got a new kit this year, Notes of Kindness with the stamp set. Love this. It's not on my to-do because I've had a few kits recently. I've already got both of these ones. And I've been using them for my classes. So these are my two kits that I've got at the moment. But I do quite like that one. These ones are returning. We have a new planner. Which is this. It's gorgeous. Look at the colour. Lovely Clipso Coral. And all of the planner bits and everything else. I'm just going to whiz through quickly. Because this is obviously a huge fat album. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video for you. Calligraphy Essentials Project Kit. This one is on my list to get because I love the stamp set that comes with it. £18 for the stamp set and then you get the you can get the kit that goes with it and you get all the cards and all the pretties. So that's definitely one for me to look out for. This is this new uh, the lipstick, lovely lipstick colour. Love it. Okay, new suite. This is the tea room suite. For anyone who's on my paper share, you will get the paper share paper come out to you. If you're not on the paper share and you want to know about it, drop me a message below and I'll tell you all the details. But you can get a portion of all of the papers in the catalogue for only a portion of the price because I'm sharing the papers out between four people. So you get it for a quarter of the price rather than a whole load of paper for the full price. So let me know if you want to be included. But this is the stamp set. Love this. This is definitely on my list to get. I don't particularly want the framelits that go with it, but I definitely want the stamp because I'm a tea gal. And this little tin, it is so cute. It will fit your 3x3 three three cards. It is so gorgeous, that. And you've got the copper vinyl stickers just there to go with it. Okay. Just about to say, no, I haven't. This one is returning. It's, we've already had that. Stitched all around, this is cute. I saw this on stage and you've got the gorgeous dies to go with it. So that's another must have for me because I think it's cute and I love this. Oh darling, you are fabulous. One stamp that will sell it just there. <laughs> it's 18 pounds for the set or you can get it as a, um, what's it called, a bundle for 44 pounds. Okay, that one's returning. This one's new, Accented Blooms and it matches with the the punch. So the punch that was the truly tailored punch from the last catalogue, the tailored tag, that all goes together and that is a gorgeous set and it's great if you've got your blends for colouring it in. A new one down here, Botanical Bliss. It's quite cute. I like the flower. It reminds me of the one from the Amazing You Celebration set. And another wonderful year which has just got a bit of everything on as another new set. 
These are all returning sets from the last catalogue, so you don't need to see those. Climbing Orchard returning, sitting pretty. I used this one in my blog this week and it's using this gorgeous bulldog. Love it, so cute. And it's got the framelits that go with it, but the framelits are gorgeous. They're more of an edged framelit. What have they got? Embossing only in it. So I don't know whether you can see where they've punched or where they've done the dye. You can see that it's been embossed as well or it's dyed. I saw it, adver um, not advertised, but sort of presented on stage and it was great. Animal Expedition. I've got this one. I love it. I think it's so cute, especially for little babies because you've got a little one there and it says to welcome the little one. And they've done some cute box frames with it here. Again, here's the papers. You will get this if you're in my paper share. And some cardstock, but this leaf ribbon here looks great for embellishments and that is definitely on my list to get. Bike Ride is returning, but this cute little letterboard messages I think is so sweet. How easy will that be for a card? And you don't even need to have any special dies. You can just cut straight up and decorate it. That is going to be a definite simple class one for £24. These are all returning again. And Special Celebrations is returning with this little piggy. These were from the... Um, that was from the old annual catalogue, but this was from the occasions catalogue that's staying around. We've got here Treat Time. I love this one. I think it's so cute. And it does have the framelits to go with it. But the framelits are pretty great because the framelits can create these pouches here. Can you see the square framelet? It creates these. So really sweet. And then you can put the tags on it as well. So that's definitely a multi-purpose bundle of £43 just there. Best Bunny, I love this. This is on my first wave of orders and it has the punch to go with it. A bit like the Fox's Punch. So cute. One for all. I quite like this with the boat. Sorry, with, with the boat. With the bike. And then we've got the Let the Good Times Roll continuing over. This is the Delightfully Detailed Suite. This has the most delightfully detailed see what I did there, paper. It is so cute, but it's very delicate and it will make any of these gorgeous, pretty projects look fantastic. So that's great. Oh, I will pick up this new punch. This one is a corner punch, but it has three different corners. So it will match up with your corners. Talking about corners, around the corner just here. So one that will fit into nice little squares or we'll make this nice bouquet here. And then you've got Pop On By, which is a new house set, but this one's quite, quite cool because you've got your framelit just here. I don't know if you can see the framelit makes it pop out. So you can do all these cute pop out cards by using the framelit. It's sort of got wings on that you stick back. Very nice. These two are returning, but we've got Bubbles and Bubbly just here. Quite a cute set. Now this here is different, we've got a new punch, but the punch comes complete with the stamps, complete with the colours and complete with the block, all in one cute gorgeous tin and that tin is beautiful. So you can get it all together which will make a kit for you to make your cards. The colour is Grapefruit Grove and Night and Navy, so it's a really good thing to get if you're just looking at beginning and starting a kit but you want something just a bit more sophisticated, this is a great idea. Varied Vases, this is one of our million dollar um, sales stamp sets which is great. It means that a demonstrator has actually designed this set and this is so cute and you have a punch to go with it and to punch all of these out so you can make so many variations with that. Itty Bitty Greetings is a new one and it has got literally every greeting you can think of. There's hundreds of them there, there's 32 stamps in that, it's a big set. In every season with these cute flowers, that would work so well with the blends as well. And then to replace the pansies, because the pansies have gone from Flower Shop, we've now got these ones, Pop of Petal stamp set, and it's got the punch with it. And I love these. I love what they've done here with the 3D art in the frame. Whizzing through, P.S. You're the best. That's probably one that doesn't appeal to me. I'm not an overly grunge type person. Tabs for I think I've already got, but postcard pals, I am really looking forward to getting because 
just so cute. Both of these are returning from the previous catalogue. And then you have the Best Roots Suite. So again, we've got DSP that will feature in my paper share. We've got Little Enamel Spots. And we've got this. This is great because I'm going to On Stage in Florida this year. So I am making a travel journal. And all of this will come in so useful for a travel journal. Friendly Expressions. I think this is quite a pretty one just here. But this is one of my favourites from the catalogue, Follow Your Dreams with the Dream Catcher. And it does have the dies to go with it. And I think this is beautiful. One Wild Ride is a returning stamp set. So that one's not a new one. Neither are these. They're all from the old annual catalogue. Enjoy Life. This is another million dollar one. Love this. I've seen so many people using these as shadows. So they've had colours in the background and they've put these on the front as like a silhouette really pretty and peaceful place down here this isn't a Helen one because I don't often do oh there you are that's what I mean by the shadows so cool this one here it's not really a Helen one I don't often do scenes but I do love that card do really like that both of these are returning sets so are all of these ones and again returning sets now this is my favourite suite from the new catalogue. This is the Broadway Bound suite. And I love that it has the dots that go over the top of the words. So you can do some gorgeous stamping with that. You've got the dies that match and the DSP that matches. So again, if you're in my DSP swap, there we go. That is definitely one I'm getting the whole page off. Love that. Free cake is a new one down here, and so is birthday backgrounds. Um, I don't know whether they appear to me. I think I, I'm thinking about it, especially the jukebox, because I do quite like retro things like that. I'm thinking. 25 again, another birthday one. Happy birthday, gorgeous, and birthday banners is returning. Birthday wishes down here. I have just, just done a card with this, and I love it. Let me show you. It's great, because it takes up the whole start of the card look how great that is and it just pops such a simple idea but it looks amazing so I love this one blow out the candles is another new birthday one we've got quite a few birthday ones this year we've got birthday poses over here so if you're a blends colorer that one's for you and then we've got kids and babies so twinkle twinkle sweet again has some DSP paper and this is quite cute. It's all done with stars to make a heart or some little lines. And it was written in the stars. I think it's a really cute suite. These two are returning. But down here you've got Fastened with Love. Where you can put the images and the names inside the bib. Very sweet. Foxy Friends is returning. But you now have a Treehouse Adventure. Which is quite sweet. And you could be able to mix and match these up. I reckon this would work quite well together. And I think he'd work quite well with the bunny earlier on as well. I just think that would work really cute. Inspired Events is returning. But we've got Sweet Baby just here. And that comes with the framelits as well. So you can cut all that one out. Precious Delivery. How cute is that stalk? It's such a simple one, but so cute. But this one, Little Elephant. And it's got a punch to match it. It's definitely on my get list. I love anything with a punch. They're cute. Right, I'm going to quickly whiz through Christmas because we are in June. But we do have mistletoe season as the new suite. And again, if you order from me, you will get a selection of this paper in the DSP share. Two returning sets. A couple of more returning sets. Snowflake Sentiments is back. Hearts Come Home has remained from the last one. I love that one. But we have this one, Stylish Christmas, which looks quite nice with the Ponsetta flowers. Labels to Love has remained with the dye. So that's great. That's the end of Christmas. It depresses me looking at Christmas in June. <laughs> Petal Promenade Sweet. I'm unsure about this. I'm not a lovey-dovey sentiment person really I don't think I'd put I love you or you are loved or I'm here for you on a card but I love this flower and I love the veins that run through it when we were on stage someone did these two in gold embossing and it looked amazing so I'm in two minds because I love 
the flowers and that gold embossing they did was beautiful and they cut it out with the dies and was able to balance it round so it made it like a 3D effect with this it looked beautiful we got pink rhinestones coming to go with the suite love that some more DSP but rose metallic thread this is just a cute suite Best Birds is returning and so is Floral Phrases, but down here you've got Kindness and Compassion. This is a new one. Healing Hugs. Now this one here is gorgeous. This is this distinctive ink that they had for Celebration, where you stamp it, but it actually looks very realistic, like a photograph. Really cute. Beautiful bouquet is returning. You've got the dyes to match that. Bright wishes, sunshine stayings are staying. We've got love to pieces over here with that's right, a jigsaw frame set, framelet. Love that idea. That's going to be so great and create some amazing cards. I like what they've done here, where they've just used it as a background. Can you see? So cute. Ribbon of Courage is staying, which I'm really happy about because I do love that one. And these two are returning as well. Sunny Days is a new one, so we've got some more fruit back. Very summery, that one. Would go quite well with lemon zest, actually, other than the ratio of the fruit. Friendly Conversation, I love this. Maybe I can stop the downpour, but it will always I will always join you for a walk in the rain. And because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. How great would that just be as a tag? Love it. Dandelion. This is in one of my top three sets to get. I love how flowy the writing is, but I love the dandelions. So cute. Tropical Escape. Again, DSP. This will be in my DSP share, but I think these are great and the colours just make this pop and you've got some textured ribbons to go with it just there. Big thank you is a new set. I'm not taken on the stamp set personally, but I do really like the die, the thank you die. I think that's really nice. Daisy Delight's remaining with the punch, which is great. These are all staying, but we've got a new one down here, this cute little thanks. And look, they've coloured it in with the blends and they've got it all running in a different blended colour. How cute's that? Right. Garden Impressions Suite. I do have the paper for this, just in, literally behind me, so let me just grab it. This is the paper. It's very um, abstract, I'd say. It's nice, it's pretty. It's six by six. This is just parceled up for one of my paper shares um, behind me, so I could grab this one quite quick, because I know I just sorted it out. But that's the paper. And it goes so well with the stamp set. I'm not sure about this because I don't think it's a me. It's another one that's like a triple stamping. So you stamp that one in a light colour, that one in a dark colour, and that one in an even darker colour to get all of the um, shades come through. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But if you've got it or if you get it, please let me see what you've done because it's one I'm on the fence about. But that. Can you see it? Framelit. It's gorgeous. If I just bring you out here, they've used it on that project. That's definitely a getter, isn't it? And there's the paper that goes with it with some metallic cords. I've got those also to the side of me. There you are. You've got the shaded spruce and the, the pink. Beautiful. So they're quite nice and they both come together. We've got a new one here, Calls for Celebration. These are returning, but Lily Pad Lake is quite cool. And I'll tell you something else I saw. When we were on stage, I don't know, can you see this framelit just here? One of the ladies, she put the pieces of paper together, she used the framelit, and then she pushed the pieces of paper so the framelit came out. So she kind of. Um, Where's a piece of paper? Have I got one? Ignore my notes. She rolled it over like that, so it was a circle, and then she put the framelit on the top, 
cut it out and left this bit in. She pushed it together and it made a lantern and then she put some little fairy lights in it and she did all different coloured lanterns just using that and it looked beautiful. When I get it, I might do a project inspired by her. I can't remember her name, but it was gorgeous. So pretty. Beautiful day, artistically Asian and returning, but how cute is this one? Floral frames. And they, of course, there's frames in the framelets to cut it out with the little flowers and you can build that up. So cute. This one I'm in love with. Wonderful moments. I love this one for the bride. I've got a couple of weddings this year, so I can't wait to use that. And I love how they've done it with the watercolour techniques. So cute. Such a good set. We've got some frames. These are all returning sets. And returning again. Till we get to Nature's Poem. Now this is a beautiful set and it's got some gorgeous DSP, which is also sitting right behind me. <laughs> Here you go. This is just six by six, uh, six by twelve. It what? It is originally twelve by twelve. I've cut it down for my paper shares, and you get two of each as well. So there's the DSP for it, and the set, and the framelits. Okay, so the DSP. You've got some lovely little trinkets. Quite cute. Tide highs returning. So are all of these ones. Waterfronts back. Love waterfront. I say returning, they were in the previous catalogue, they haven't gone anywhere, they're staying. All the good things, and that's using that distinctive ink as well, so it pops out at you. Now this I'm excited about, Bocca Dots. I am really looking forward to using this set. Can you see what they've done? It's just a textured background. How great is that? And this set, the stamp part, is just the right size for the pad. I think that's pretty clever really. Tranquil textures, let me see if I can grab that paper. I think that's behind me as well. Once again, I've cut it in half. It is normally 12 by 12. And you get the six double-sided and you get two of each. And they're very textured papers. So I quite like those with the octopus set and the dies. Trying to work out, I'm really thinking, I'm trying to work out how to use this. I've got a little godson and he would love this set. He's just getting it right for him. Um, seize the day down here that's another one that's distinctive ink so you can make it pop up and you can colour it in once you've done it peaceful reflections a new one just there and sweet storybook and this is two step stamping again so you can pop it in really cute for my little squeak heart I'm one of those people I love little corny things like that Gallery grunge down here this isn't really a Helen set I don't think I, it's really for me but I do know a lot of people who do grungy things and I know they'd love that. Graceful glass. This is beautiful. I've got the vellum for this somewhere. Let me see if I can quickly see it. I think it's one you've got to see to appreciate and I haven't got it close. What have I done with it? Oh, I don't know, but oh, it's beautiful. It really is. It's all vellum that is decorated like this. I will do a project on this and you will see it. It's beautiful and the stamp set and the dies love it and they colour in so well with the blends as you can see serene garden and bouquet blooms they're both new um i'm thinking about i think everybody i know has had a massive list and they've had to sort of try and deduct different things off the list otherwise they're going to be spending far too much this one's new too and that's what i've had to do and i'm trying to be quite hard on myself with it We've got this new one here, pick a pennant. I have this, I love it. And I'm totally getting the frames to go with it because this is so cool. And line it up on your stamparatus, simple as. Love that idea. Now these are pretty fancy, but are a little bit pricey. I will pre-warn you. The alphabet is 32 pounds, but you do get all of the letters. That's a great set to have. The dies are £133, so they are very expensive. However, I don't think you can see, it's got kind of a casing just there. And then you slot these in like that. So when you make it, it has the triangle and the words. So you, oh, put it in the right place. So you can line it up and how cute is the effect? Like I said, it's a little bit pricey, but it looks beautiful. If you have a load of cards to do, 
and you want them all to say hello or anything else like that and you want them lined and simple and easy to use this set is definitely for you share what you love sweet this has been everywhere recently because it's already been released so i bet you've already seen all of these pieces so i won't go into them and then we're on to the accessories so like i said we have had new colors so stampin up have put all of the new color card stock together in a pack for 13 pounds all of the new stamp and write markers in a pack and all of the new inks in a pack so you can get them 10 percent off than buying them individually is quite good it helps you when you're trying to update your color collections i've already been through them all so you know them already and these are all the papers that we saw in the catalog new things that are in colored doilies the pearlized doilies i love these so adorable i did a a video on how to cut them down and different shapes and sizes you can get just look at my blog and it's all there um, glimmer paper, we have a rose, cute, craft pillow boxes, nothing's really changed the memories and more set but we do have lots more memories and more cards so do check those ones out. We have glitter enamel dots, I love those and as I've already said we have pink rhinestones and twinkle back to adhesive sequins, very cute. Some binder clip clips in the bright colours. Most of these are all new for this year. I'm just pointing out what I like. Oh, and the faceted gems. I do like the faceted gems. They're cute. We have all the different ribbons back again um, with all different colours. We've got the stitched ribbon remaining, but like I said, we've got the leaf ribbon now. We've got the shimmer ribbon remaining, which I'm really happy about, but we've got some cool stripes, so do check it out. And the new ribbon, let me just grab them, is a thin ribbon, and it's striped. And that's this one here, and I love this one. Okay. Turning the page, we've got new Many Marvellous Markless collection because it's got the new colours in them. And we have got embossing powder in the new colours is the thing to really focus on for the new ones. And we've got some new stamping blends come out, but I will tell you now, we are struggling with supply for the stamping blends and they will not be in today on the 1st of June. The rest of the catalogue's orderable, but stamping blends aren't. It's gonna be another couple of weeks before we get these in, but I will keep you updated on them. Simply Chamois, this is a really good idea. I've got mine here. It's got kind of a liquid in it. So even though you're using your stamp and scrub, pop a bit of water on this, great for on the go stamping. And even though it will stain the chamois, it will not come back off. I used it on stage and fell in love with it, so I've already purchased it for my classes because it's just gonna be so much simpler. Okay, there's the tin that I spoke about earlier with the kit and the punches that's around. There's the elephant and the bunny. So cute. The adhesives are the same apart from Fast Fuse has now gone, unfortunately. However, we do still have the fine tip glue and the multi-purpose liquid glue for that. A list of all of your framelits, which I've pointed out to you, and the new embossing folders. But as I said, if you want to see any of the catalog, just drop me a message and I will pop it in the post to you. I hope you've enjoyed going through it all. I know I have a massive shopping list. If you do, pop over to my blog, click on buy and it will take you straight to my website. Okay everybody, thanks for joining me. Any questions, just let me know. Bye.